Remember that song, I Believe the Children Are the Future? Well, apparently, so does this organization. I'm referring to Chai Lifeline. It's a nonprofit organization that runs countless programs for children, their families, and communities who are fighting cancer and other critical illnesses. Just recently, they wrapped up the Bike for Chai, a bike riding fundraiser. Joining us now to discuss all things surrounding that is Rabbi Siroli Freed. He is the director of the program and kind enough to join us right here on the Fox 5 Live Zone. Rabbi, truly a pleasure to meet you, sir. Thank you so much for coming on the show. How are you guys? How are you doing today? I am doing awesome and going to be doing even more awesome once I get a chance to find out about the amazing work that you all are doing. For folks that are hearing about the organization for the first time, can you elaborate what you all do day in and day out? Sure. Chai Lifeline is an international agency that provides services to families that have children with cancer or other serious life-threatening illnesses. Our mission is to maintain a family's equilibrium in times of illness and crisis with the understanding that if, God forbid, a child is diagnosed with cancer or any other serious illness, it really shakes the entire family structure. And Chai Lifeline is there to provide services both in the hospital setting food, transportation, housing next to the hospital, as well as in the home setting, providing respite, big brothers, big sisters. Um, and our flagship program is Camp Simcha, which is um, our camp right up in, right outside Port Jervis, um, New York, at the border of New York, New Jersey, where Penn and Pennsylvania meet. It's a camping program for over 400 children dealing with um, life-threatening illnesses, and it's. I'm actually speaking to you right now from the infirmary up in Camp Simcha. Wow. But wait, there's more, as they say, because you all just wrapped up, as you heard me make mention earlier, the bike for Chai. This is just really cool. Talk about the experience and what you all have been able to do as a result of this event. Um, it, it's, a, it's, guys, it's an incredible event, the likes of which literally doesn't uh, exist in the world. And I'll explain to you, although there are hundreds of charity rides across the world. But just to give you a little details about the ride, we just wrapped it up um, yesterday afternoon. It's a two day, close to 100, 180 mile bike ride. We started out in Kalahari um, Resort in the Poconos and ended up in Camp Simcha, where I am right now. Um, what's unique about this bike ride is a, the number of dollars that are raised. We had, I think it was 623 riders that raised over $11 million, probably the highest per capita charity cycling event in the world. And what's so special about it is that you see your char charity dollars at work because you finish at Camp Simcha, which we all refer to as the world's greatest finish line. And there's nothing like after months of fundraising, months of training, um, 180 miles of riding, and we rode day one, um, started out, it was probably in the high 40s, and of course it rained, because it always rains on every year's bike for Chai, um, just to finish at the finish line, to see the smiles on the kids' faces, and to see your charity dollars at work, that's so special and unique about um, Bike for Chai. And I always say that we run an event that's so detail-oriented, that we service our riders like we service our families. Wow. As a social worker myself that came up in the organization for 20 years, um, being in the field, helping families, that have been able to transition that sort of level of service into producing the most boutique, highest raising fund rate charity cycling event in the world is something very special. Yeah, and you all have a plethora of folks that actually take part. I'm looking at my notes here. I believe more than 700 riders actually decided to dedicate their time and effort to make this happen. Yeah, actually, I mean, we had over 700 riders that signed up um, that actually rode, I think, was a little, you know, 623 riders, which is, again, incredible. And, you know, we, we open up registration for this ride always in January, mid-January. Um, and we sell out literally in a couple of hours because we're limited amount of slots that we have, both in the hotels that we start from and Camp Simcha just cannot handle so many people coming into it. And we have riders that sign up and come in from throughout the world. We had a team out of Mexico that raised hundreds of thousands of dollars, teams from the Midwest, the West Coast, literally throughout the country and internationally that come in to join this bike ride. 
Yeah. Well, kudos going out to you all. You are doing amazing things, and you're really, really making a difference. Folks that want to find out more information, how would one go about to do so? So they, to find out more about what the organization does, please go to www.highlifeline.org. And to make sure that you're on the waiting list for when we open registration for Bike for Chai 2025, please go to bikeforchai.com. That's bike for the number four, C-H-A-I.com. Rabbi Siroli Freed joining us right here on the Live Zone. Truly appreciate you, sir. Congratulations on all the success of the program. Thank you so much. Have a great day, guy. Plan to. Thank you. All right, guys. Take a quick break. We'll be right back.